Uh, good morning friends welcome to yet another playlist of mine wherein i would be um, introducing and discussing a lot of uh, the parts focusing on reasoning logic and different kinds of logic that are existing um in our uh, various domains and how they are useful to us in our own uh, research now first and foremost i would say that i uh, completed recently hmm, i should say a part that focuses on the designing phase of the uh, literature review wherein uh, there were few columns um, you know talking about critical review or uh, Um, argument from the side of the um, writer or the author of that particular book or the uh, paper now uh, you know many of us we do not know what exactly argument is and how um, you know these arguments are formed how to understand them and uh, you know once you have stated the argument from the side of the uh, paper presenter or the uh, research paper how do you proceed further in uh, to criticize size it um you know and what's the criticisms are there how do you proceed further to write the critical review paper now this is the reason why i was waiting um for the correct moment so that i can complete with that part of the uh, literature review and then start introducing um to you as to what exactly those things are which i was talking about uh, right now i'm talking uh, i mean mentioning about uh, mentioning and referring to the uh, logical tools that are available able to us in the form of the arguments now before that i uh, would like to go ahead and give a short introduction as to why these things are necessary and why we should do it in other countries i have seen that it is compulsory for the student to study and um, you know proceed further with the critical reasoning aspects or uh, get introduced to certain uh, branches of the knowledge um, you know so that they can proceed further with the um, i should say research or the uh, writing process in the academics field so with that as the background now i'm going to introduce to you what exactly is reasoning in very short i'm not entering into the depth otherwise this will be like a lecture series for me which i'm not interested in i just want to introduce what are the various uh, forms of reasoning that are available and then finally end up with the logic now when i'm talking about logic um you know this came across to me not just because i'm very much fascinated and that is my passionate area of teaching as well as learning more and more however i have seen that it has got quite a lot of utilities not just in the academic writing or academic uh, paper readings i would say however even in your presentations and even if you are writing certain things uh, you know you can proceed further now i have seen that it is present in the domains of philosophy um then mathematics definitely is and now i'm seeing in cognitive sciences when i'm talking about cognitive sciences it means philosophy uh, psychology then mathematics uh, neural networks then uh, rather than neural networks let me introduce it as the computational sciences itself or the computer sciences and there i have seen that um you know when we enter into big data analysis um, you know when i was learning i have seen that computational logic is very important and then they move towards the symbolic logic then they are moving towards the model logic and then finally to what we call it as the fuzzy logic um uh, fuzzy logic in the sense that it has just uh, become a contemporary uh, mode of learning now i um, questioned a few people who are experts of the fuzzy logic um, you know and when i asked them just simple question are you trained in logic you know because uh, there is a way in which you're not supposed to understand it it's not that you'll pick it up just like that and then go forward unfortunately i have seen that very few of them have been trained into it or exposed to it um you know through the bookish knowledge rather than um you know sitting with a teacher and learning properly in the classroom so that is um, what compelled me to come up with this particular series and i thought okay let me start off with the playlist and i was waiting for the 
right moment now i have completed um designing phase wherein i showed one of the sheets uh, the excel sheet wherein uh, you know how to uh, go ahead and uh, you know present your literature review there i have mentioned about the argument now this is where this particular series is going to help you up so welcome to the series uh, focusing on what exactly is reasoning here um, here you will see that the simple to simple definition that i can give at the most to reasoning is it is a process of thinking about things in a logical and rational way or manner now when we talk about logical and rational way now how do you think this how do uh, you know we come to know that yes i'm thinking in a logical manner or a rational man does it mean that we have got certain um, you know universal guidelines certain um, universal or general i wouldn't use the word general that would be wrong on my part universal set of uh, things that has been given to us that yes you are supposed to do it in so and so fashion the answer is in positive terms yes absolutely yes and um, when i entered into that domain and dedicated some part of my uh, days in learn not just days i would say years to learn that in sitting in the classroom and learning from the teachers who taught me in reality what exactly it is and trust me i was not at all interested it was my teachers who pulled me and he said can you please come into the classroom and then i used to go and learn and a time came that yes i really enjoyed it so here i go ahead and then uh, sharing the same things with you all also definition it is an innate human ability with proper focus and attention and concentration if you know those set of rules and regulation then with the proper uh, guidance and a uh, little bit of focus and concentration you can definitely apply them and move ahead now where is it studied basically i mean it is given however dedicatedly if i have to understand it is seen as a logic as a subject i would say uh, mathematics definitely yes because my teachers who taught me they were from the domain of mathematics before they can turn out to be logicians and they were the contemporaries or the uh, popular uh, mathematicians and logicians like bertrand russell frege whitehead moore and to come down even to erving m copy now you know the moment i hear their names or even sol kripke you know and the moment i come to know i thought they okay i'm being taught uh, and groomed and grilled very badly i was grilled to understand these things and uh, go ahead so logic mathematics and now when i entered i was studying about the artificial intelligence in terms of the uh, ai iot machine learn logic I'm, i mean machine learning i'm able to understand you know why uh, the things that i learned are being really helpful and you know proceed further so i have seen and one of my teachers who was teaching me the artificial intelligence he said that god bless you that you have uh, been trained by a wonderful person and your logical tools are very strong you know and once your those things are there your ai and the iot becomes very easy and even the fuzzy logic you will be able to understand them then comes more about reasoning um, under this we can just simply say that uh, the process of reasoning why do we uh, require it now first and foremost it is used to to make decisions uh, you know it really helps you out when uh, i'm using ai on a particular uh, a, let's say set of algorithms i know what i need in the end and how i'm supposed to use them for example if i'm playing my favorite game chess now when i'm playing the chess uh, with the help of the computer and sometimes uh, being a student of philosophy of mine i have read a good number of books and papers and one of the popular book is roger penrose's um, you know the emperor's mind and the second sequel though i didn't like the second one as much as i liked the first one the emperor's mind which is a quite thick one and it really took a while for me uh, to really understand each and every chapter however that was my first introduction to the world of computational logic and so it helps you a lot in reading and knowing about the decision solve problems and evaluate things as they are given to you so in that way i would say that uh, different branches of knowledge need to study about the um, reasoning aspects now it can be formal informal these are the different uh, forms of the reasoning it can be top down bottom up and then we can even take care in uh, you know in terms of uh, handling uncertainty 
now sometimes it happens that you do not know what how to go ahead and we simply say like we are talking about nowadays in contemporary but uncertain disruptive uh, technologies you know later on once we complete it you will be able to understand how to deal about those uncertainties as well and the partial truths i mean the entire uh, field of logic is confined to the truths truths false truth false validity soundness completeness inconsistency consistency nothing else so we will have to get used to these terminologies also very well so i think with that uh, small uh, introduction let me proceed further with the further thing and in my next part and uh, we will slowly move ahead to uh, i mean we will funnel down ourselves to from reasoning to logic part so till then thanks a lot take care bye